All right, time to play some Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, let me get the main window up here. Okay, cool. So uh, let me turn on my controller here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, whoops. A little bit of freezing happening there. Um, let's see, where am I at? Uh, why is it stuttering? All right, so now we're going to be on mission 12, which, uh, come on, don't lag on me, controller. Rally the New Republic. Hunted by the Imperial forces, the Starhawk and a small New Republic fleet are lost in the Ringali Nebula. Repair the old rebel comsats over the nearby crumbling moon of Galatan and call for reinforcements. Okay. Make sure the difficulty is uh, set and let's do it. Loading. Just going to be one of those times when it loads infinitely. <laughs> oh, man. Hopefully this loads. Uh, hopefully my microphone settings are good. Uh, just want to check. Uh, I think that's good. Got to position the mic properly. Setting up the headset. Kind of, kind of terrible with glasses on, to be honest. If I didn't have these things on while I was playing, then it would be a lot, a lot more easier. And just put the headset on and not to worry about it. But then, you know, the glasses get in the way. And it's like it's really annoying. Oh man, is this going to take time? I had to restart my computer for updates, so maybe that's why uh, it takes so long to load. All those uh, Windows updates coming in. I just had one, I think, yesterday? Like, uh, right... Uh, I think after I uploaded. Oh, here we go. I think it's going to load. What was that? I think it was going to loop. <laughs> A little bug in the game there. Oh man, I gotta adjust these glasses some more. Hold on. If you're hearing any weird noises, that's just me touching the headset. Oh, come on. Alright, hold on. Just a second. Gotta take the headset off because this is getting annoying. Just a second, I know. Hopefully there's no uh, cutscene. Oh goodness, is there a cutscene? No, it's still loading. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, hold on just a second. It's my glasses. Please, the, hopefully there is no cutscene. Would be pretty bad. Thing. All right, I'm gonna put my headset back on. It's still loading. Okay, good. All right. Clickety clack. It's the ratcheting system for the uh, deluxe audio strap. I'm pretty glad I got it though. So. All right. Still loading. So. Oh my goodness, don't tell me it's gonna one of those loading bugs. Oh, man. That means I have to restart the game. Alright, you know what? I am gonna pause this. And hopefully we'll be back. Alright, we're back. I just had to wait. 
uh, for a very long time, but let's move on. Oops, did I? I can't use my controller now, which is, uh... Turn it back on. No? Oh my goodness. Uh, Alright, hold on just a second. Alright, I finally got that fixed. Hopefully I got it fixed. Uh, let's check out controls. Okay, good. I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Reminder, Better get to the briefing room. Okay, well, I just want to make sure I'm recording because <laughs> I did a lot of stuff just to, uh, to get this to work again. But anyways, time to get in the briefing. Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. The Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zarelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. Okay, cool. That's what I'll do. All right, let's talk to uh, these guys over here. Sorry, not now. Okay, no. <laughs> no talking over there, I guess. All right, let's go to the hangar and let's get this mission started. Oh, we got more talking to do. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. Cool, cool. Let's talk to uh, Frisk. 
You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? As soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. And it never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Especially with you around. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Ready to go when you are. You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous, scared even, but I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. All right, cool. Seems like we got everybody. Nobody else around here? All right, let's get into the U-Wing. U-Wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. Check the loadout. Uh, auto aim cannon. Yeah, okay, I'll take the auto aim cannon. Tactical shield. Uh, oh, yeah, you can target fighters. Okay, yeah. So that's all you get for those auxiliary. Uh. Hmm. Well, we're going to protect uh, a ship, right? So, uh, yeah, let's do a particle burst. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Speed, no. Uh, I might get the reinforced hull. And then... Let's see, no shield decay. Hmm. Max shields. Actually. Oh, yeah, it takes longer for shields to start regenerating. Hmm. I'll just stick with a standard. And then we'll get the slam engine because that's pretty good for me. All right. We're ready to go. Uh, I gotta get positioned in my seat here. Look at that, uh, <laughs> culling. Oh, I don't know if you can see that, but, uh, where are we going? <laughs> Whoops. A little too close to the, uh, Corvette here. 
Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? I see them. Turret mines, ooh. Those Thai bombers I need to take them out. Ah. Ah, my goodness. <laughs> Just crashing into things here. I keep bumping into stuff. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. I put a shield up, you know? Shield uh, should be working. Locked on. 
for me. Just a little longer. To a shield. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Toast. Ah, I'm so slow. We got all of them. Come on. They got my shields. Nice, nice. No need got a shield up. I got him, I got him. Protect it. There we go. Tactical shield. Tactical shield active. Enemies locked on to me. That's hailing you. I know, I got him, I got him. Got him, I got him. I'm with you. Attack, attack. You did it. Attack him. Attack. Blow that up. They're right behind you. Don't let the Empire near the comms at. Got them. You're good. Keep flying. Attack, attack. I'm not saying thank you. Shield for you. 
Attack, attack. That shield up. Tactical shield deployed. Nice. Comsat under fire. Wake up, enemies behind you. Yes. Lurking onto me. Right there. Oh, I missed. Jammer, where's the jammer? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of ties over here. <laughs> close to the edge there. All right, all right, hold on. ago the rebellion welcomed me today i feel honored to join the fight sir you can't have faith kyo besides if there's one person who can keep Teresa's attention it's me i need you to lead our defenders the future of project starhawk and maybe the new republic itself is in your hands all due respect sir you won't last a second out there alone I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you.
All right. Uh, well, I beat mission 12 in less than 16 minutes, <laughs> but I did fail, so. Well, I, that that counts as a death, and uh, yeah, I should have should have focused more on the comsats, but uh, whatever, that's okay. Anyways, let's get back to the main menu. That should be about it for today. Uh, let me get my mouse cursor over there. And like I said, that should be about it for today. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.